This is where the plot thickens. We've seen in Chapter 3 that x rays uses up to 4 patches to create a combi. Now within each patch you will find a phrase, and a phrase is nothing less than a 32 step sequencer that can trigger just as many individual sounds. In this chapter, we'll look at the options available to you in the phrase generator. A key concept to understand is that a patch is made up of two basic elements, the sound generator and the sound shapers. While the pitch, filter, amp, patch, effects, and other modules provide a way to shape the sound, it is the phrase generator that actually generates the sound itself. Each patch uses one of four phrase buffers. The active phrase buffer is always the brightest. None of the factory presets included in X-Phrase use more than one phrase buffer since you can only hear one buffer or phrase at a time. Phrase buffers are useful when you want to change phrases during playback without having to change patch or combi. If I load a patch with more than one phrase buffer, when I play a note, I get this sound with the first buffer. If I change to buffer 2, I get this sound. And so on. If I add program changes throughout my sequence, X-Phrase will go from one buffer to the next. The number of steps used by the phrase can be adjusted using these sliding doors. So you can have one phrase with 8 visible cells or steps, while another phrase will have 32. By dragging these silver doors, you can quickly create variations. The sound will always start at the first cell after the start door. If you press on a key, a blue LED will move across the top. These cells serve two purposes. To display where the sequence is in the phrase as you trigger the notes. And secondly, to trigger a new multi-sample, you need to activate the trigger corresponding to this cell. Right now, the phrase starts at cell 9 and ends at cell 20. By selecting cell 9, I see below that the squeezer multisample is triggered by default. When there are no other triggers active in the phrase, the first cell is triggered by default. This changes when you assign more than one trigger cell in a phrase. Notice that by adding triggers and pressing a key, the squeezer multisample is re-triggered every time. You can change the sound triggered by a cell by selecting it, then by choosing a new sound for the cell. Start by selecting a multi-sample category. There are 17 categories to choose from, 16 of which are read-only, and the last one is a user category where you can add your own multi-samples. Next, select the multi-sample in this category. Now let's copy the same sound and its parameters over to cell 13 and 15. To do this, you right click on a PC or control click on a Mac and select, in this case copy cells all parameters. Now moving over to cell 13, let's paste, then cell 15 and paste again. Now we'll change cells 17, 19 and 20 using different multi-samples this time. Every time the sequence passes a triggered cell, it gets lighter and triggers the multi-sample assigned to this cell. Click on a trigger a second time and the multi-sample will play in reverse. Reversed multi-sample triggers appear as orange triggers. Click a third time on a trigger cell and it goes back to not being triggered. These features alone are pretty cool, but there's much more to the phrase generator than triggering multi-samples. Let's take a look at the phrase's global parameters. These are found in the right portion of the phrase generator, starting with the drum mode selection on the top. Practically speaking, the drum mode prevents the multi-samples from transposing the pitch when different notes are played, as would normally be the case with melodic and harmonic sounds. In other words, use this mode when you want a beat or a sound to always remain at the same pitch when a note is triggered. Playing on different keys will always give the same result. Notice also that the multi-sample used for each cell in the phrase refers to a drum sound found in the third selection field. Switching back to key mode disables this third selection field, and playing different notes triggers different sounds, as they are laid out in the multi-sample. 
One of the great applications for the drum mode is to create a drum pattern associated with each note played, as this example suggests. The trigger mode affects how notes are triggered and synced within the phrase once a note is already played. But before illustrating this, let me just quickly jump to the next field and change the resolution to 1 16th. This will transform each cell in the phrase in 16th notes instead of 32nd notes. The options available in this menu are the same as in any quantize options, with straight, tuplet, and dotted bar and beat subdivisions. Playing a note again, the phrase is half the speed it was since each step represents twice the amount of time the previous setting represented. You can create interesting rhythmic patterns simply by setting two phrases at different resolutions. Currently, the trigger is in multi-mode. In multi-mode, every time a new note is played, the phrase goes back at the beginning and starts again, even if notes are being held. Changing the trigger to single, the phrase reads until the end before starting again, even if you play additional notes. The X-Fade parameter creates crossfades between each triggered cells. Using the X-Fade is great for blending the tail of one triggered multi-sample into the attack of the following one, for example. Here, let's just set things up a bit and play a short sequence using some sounds we already worked on. When hitting play, notice the brightness of attack in the triggered sounds. By creating a 50% crossfade between each triggered cell, you can change the feel of this sound giving it a gated envelope feel. The loop mode works with the loop area represented by these cells. The loop area lets you create a group of cells that will repeat as long as the note is held. By dragging the start or end cells, you change the looped area inside the phrase. The loop mode offers options that determine the direction the phrase will play inside the looped area. When this is set to off, the phrase never loops. In forward mode, the phrase will always move from left to right, while in reverse, you guessed it, from right to left. The alternate mode will alternate from left to right to left. With the second alternate, however, the start and end cells are not repeated. Experiment with these global settings on your own to get a better understanding of their effect on the sound. The more familiar X-Phrase is to you, the easier it will be to get the results you expect out of it.